supposed to be. And there's like one like over here on the gate. It's a whole bunch of shit. It's crazy. Um, when you go over to the gate, you get another flashback. I'm gonna blend in with the gate. You can't see me. Alright, let that finish. Because if you don't let, if you go to another cutscene, I mean another uh, cutscene, another audio flashback, you won't get the points for the flashback that just happened. So make sure it ends before you move. Here's another one over here. Yep, surveillance camera. Is old, it just broke. How do you feel, Snake? Fucking old. I don't think you get points for that though, so. They're playing that music. You hear that? She's just, ah! just singing. Um, in here, there's bullets over there. What am I doing? Don't get on top of the table. What are you doing? Get under the table. There we go. That was a grenade. There's chaff grenades somewhere around here. In this game, for some reason, I don't know why. It's probably because chaff grenades are so are so uh, useful. They give you like two in the whole damn game. No joke. You can't buy them. Nothing, and they're hard as hell to find. You only get like two or three chaff grenades the whole game. Like I beat the game like six times and only have like twelve. But then I found out that they're extremely useful in this level because, like I said earlier, 95% of the time you are fighting robots, which don't like chaff grenades. So uh, you don't. You can go through the front door down there, but I suggest that you go up here so you can get more Drebin points for flashbacks because you get a flashback if you go in the little tunnel down here like you did in the first one, or like I did when you saw me playing the the little first part. Where's that hole at? There it is. No, oh, what do you got a combat role for, Snake? Snake. Yep, flashback. This is McDonald Miller. McDonald Miller. Campbell told me about the situation. I thought I might be able to use Do, 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 do. Well, I know I know. I'm flipping crawling. Yep, it goes with a thousand ribbon points. Just keep on climbing through, you'll eventually reach the end where you get to climb out. It is dark. You know that rat right there reminds me, remember Metal Gear Solid 1 towards the end when you dropped the card key in the water? and the rat ate it so you had to put freaking C4 by the holes in the wall so when he ran out you blow his ass up and take the C4, I mean take the card out of him that sucked oh there goes some music flip on out of here damn already caught? that is bullshit leave me alone look at that you saw that? like those robots are no joke that was B to the S right there where's those damn chaff grenades? there they go Yes, I'll unlock him. You only get two. Which sucks ass. Which I'm gonna have to toss. Get off my face. Get off me. Ah! Fuck it. Throw it. Boom! I'm gone. Front flip. And break, snake. Break. Where is the way out? Not that. That's the front door. Oh, shit. Where is the door out of here? Oh, it's over here. Roll under there. Okay, that was cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Okay, um, now this part is kind of annoying. You have to watch out behind you because they have those freaking penis-touching machines back there. But then you have to watch out for these lasers. So you see the laser going by, crawl by. Keep crawling, make sure there's no laser that will touch you. And like stop in the middle so that they don't get you with their bitch lasers. Alright, go. Oh shit. Almost got caught. I'm gone. Fuck crawling. Okay. 
snow, blend in the snow. When you're all snowy looking, grab bullets over here. Which I... No, those are rations, huh? Okay. <clears throat> One thing you need to know. What is this way, first of all? I want to see where this goes. I've never been over here. Ooh, there's... A rocket! Sweet! Um, okay. Back to what I was saying. This is where you fought Raven in Metal Gear Solid 1. You see that big old ball of ice over there? That thing right there? That is a gecko and will come to life if you get close. That one right there, too. If you get close to them, they will jump up and most likely scare the shit out of you. So I suggest, unless you're really desperate for bullets, don't go near them. Ooh, shit, I'm about to roll at them, too. And stay down just in case you accidentally make them get up and then they see you. Alright, cool. Better stay down. There's a lot of bullets around here. Oh, shit. It came to life. Well, the other one did. What are we talking about run? I'm rolling, buddy. Here, Otacon. He was like, ah, run, snake. Ah, no, Otacon. I'm gonna roll. Rolling. Rolling. <laughs> Rolling is so bomb. Okay. Now we're inside of the little nuclear nu nuclear place. In Metal Gear Solid 1, this nuclear place, you could not shoot your gun because you'd set off the bombs and kill yourself. I'm going to just blend in because it's cool. I have ice on my ass cheeks. That is hilarious. Um, if you had the Sorrow doll, a ghost would be right here in this window right here. Bloop. Let's crawl under here. If you have the sorrow doll also, I think there's also a ghost like right here in the corner. Booty call. I don't see any enemies around here. Okay. We'll go through the door all the way at the back. Otacon. Last time around we had a few complications and wound up going through the commander's office in the basement. That's right. Yeah, I remember that I part remember too. Now. But there's no need to go all the way down there this time, right? The back door takes us straight where we need to go. Mm -hmm. Good point. Okay, then. Let's get to the back door. Alright, when you get to the back door, you'll find out what happens. <coughs> First, I'm going to look in here. Might have something good in here. Yup. Anti-air missile. Nope. Door is broken. Oops. What am I doing? Huh? Snake, that door is locked. How do I open it? Security is shut down altogether. You can't release the lock without activating it. You'll have to log in somewhere. I've got it, Snake. My old office is close by. With the power on, you should be able to unlock the door from there. And if you check the facility records, we can find out Rex's status and who's been in and out. You remember where it is, Snake? Uh, I'm not senile yet. Just to be safe, I'm marking it on your map. You old geezer. <laughs> that is dirty. I'm the only one that can Snake, crack old jokes in here. Password is 48273. Think you can remember that? No, I sure as hell can't. 48273. Yet. Four eight two seven three. I gotta remember that. I never remember it. All right, let's roll. Let's go upstairs now. Four eight Snake, two seven three. I checked the APU on this floor and engaged the generator. Energy output is low, but it should be enough to power the elevator. Try the elevator and see if it's working. That's what I'm doing. Four eight two seven three. Basement. Four eight two seven three. I gotta make sure I don't remember. I mean, I got to make sure that I don't forget, and make sure that I do remember. I'm dead. <laughs> okay, let's head in there now. Okay. Blend in. First, go down the central hall. Don't worry, it's not electrified anymore. Yeah, this was back when it was electrified. When you touched it, you got shocked for a cool minute. Four eight two seven three. You gotta remember.